dying son, Asha King's parents were at his bedside, leaving tonight from the Malaga hospital that's been caring for him since they were jailed. And they walked straight into a chaotic media scrum. But his father, Brett, gave an update on how he was. It's actually now you know, in such a good state as when we left him. But um, he doesn't move so much because he's lost his, his spirit for life. We've been labelled as kidnappers. These were the last few moments he'd shared with his son just hours before he and his wife were arrested. Tonight, they were reunited with him after four days. Nagme and Brett King began their day in the Spanish city of Seville, entering a hectic press conference with the media clamoring for their attention. They looked tired, dazed, and bewildered. The events of the last few days had clearly taken their toll. When we were in prison, there wasn't a minute that went by without our hearts, without our hearts hurting to see Asha. My wife spent most of the time crying in the south. I couldn't listen to her crying. Mr. King was speaking just 12 hours since being freed, and he explained why the couple took the actions that they did. We just want to help my son get through this bad time because he hasn't got too, much, too, too, too many months to live. And we're just trying to speak things up to help him as much as possible. But he said he was angry at the way he and his wife had been treated. We didn't know what was happening because they arrested us and directly they took my son away. They say he's not allowed to have any visitors. A few hours later, they arrived to be by their son's side more than a hundred miles away in Malaga, and they walked into similar chaotic scenes that had greeted them earlier in the day. Before they made their way inside to see and be with the gravely ill son they hadn't seen for days. But visiting him for a few hours is all they can do for now, as Asha is still a ward of a family court in Britain, and it's now up to a judge to decide whether custody is returned to his parents. Central Carrier. ITV News, Malaga. Well, the clinic in the Czech Republic, which performs the kind of radiation treatment Asher's parents say they want for him, reviewed his notes this morning. Doctors there say that proton therapy is suitable and they are ready to treat him. So what, if anything, is so special about it? Our science correspondent, Amok Jha, has been finding out. Asher King has a very rare type of brain tumour and treatment options are limited. His parents want him to have the most cutting-edge therapy available. This morning, a clinic in the Czech Republic agreed that Asha was suitable for their proton therapy. One of the directors there told us that it's the number one choice when treating cancers in children. Your main goal has to be to target with a millimeter precision the tumor, so uh, you don't irradiate uh, the vital organs and the soft tissues. And that's what proton therapy and the only proton therapy can do. In traditional radiotherapy, the tumour is targeted with a beam of x-rays, which then continues through the body, damaging healthy tissue as it goes. Whereas in proton therapy, the tiny particles stop when they hit the tumour, reducing the amount of damage they cause to healthy tissue. That reduces side effects like nausea and hair loss. Proton therapy isn't available on the NHS for patients like Asher because we simply don't have the facilities. But two centres are being built, one in Manchester and one here in London, at a cost of £250 million. They won't be ready though until 2018. The doctors who were initially treating Asher in Southampton say they're desperate to see him get the treatment he needs. Our biggest concern at the moment is, to a certain extent, the clock is ticking. Um, while we are all waiting for decisions to be made um, and for, the, you know, for this to go through, um, you have a young boy who needs to be treated. Asha has to go through more chemotherapy in Spain before he's ready to be referred to the Czech doctors for the proton treatment that his parents have fought so hard to get for him. Alok Char, ITV News. Well, let's return now to Sajal Kari in Malaga. So Sajal, what now for Asha? Well, Julie, just to give you some breaking news, just in the last few minutes, we have been sent a photograph of Asha and his parents reunited once again by his bedside, a moment that his parents have been waiting for four days for, so an emotional re reunion uh, between uh, Asha and his parents. I can also tell you about the fact that the High Court could decide as soon as tomorrow that uh, Asha can be transferred out of this hospital in Malaga and to Prague to receive that proton beam therapy.
therapy treatment that Alok was talking about in his report. Thank you very much indeed.